Okay, today we just came out of Shabbat and Samachti, because you know we're not allowed to use electronics, usually builds on Shabbat. So I just wanted to show she built this adorable city with like miniature characters and it looks like a, an entire city. It has a facade here of like what looks like the main building. And then there are all these characters with one looks like she's feeding a horse and it's really really cool and intricate and I just thought it's something I want to film before she dismantles it but basically it looks like adorable land mm -hmm. Samachti's Shabbos land yep this huh? is the jungle jam huh? as you can see like kind of, I think you know it's a jungle gym. Mm -hmm. And also, if mom zooms in, like kind of, she's sitting down on the bench, waving goodbye to her, which is leaving the park. Then there's someone uh, with a horse um, traveling. Then there's someone, a girl that she's putting on her shoes, ready to go to the school. Look at this. And if you go over here, there's also like kind of this woman, which over here. Like kind of uh -huh. behind this guy. Uh huh. Is her girl waving back to her? Yeah. Come to school, and that's that's the adorable. And that's ah, that's the, the school. Okay. Yeah, that's the well, school. signing off. Yeah. Samakti, good job. From Samakti's land. Ah. Okay, here we are at the beginning of a trail down to octagonal actually i think so hexagonal or octagonal pools um they're called that way because of the stones i'll show you later they were formed hexagonal pillars by volcanic formation of the golan heights and this is sort of the beginning of the trail it's about one kilometer downward and then back upward 400 steps in each direction there are 400 steps plus some walking uh, leading all the way down this deep valley which it's hard to see how deep it is because it snakes down and uh, this is basically the um, Golan Heights the eastern side of the Golan Heights and somewhere out there beyond these hills is Syria not that far away but it's there <laughs> so anyway this is the descent we're at the beginning of it and when we get to the pool I'm gonna film again but Golan is just this beautiful open space it's gorgeous All right signing off guess see you again at the bottom of the of the pool go ahead go ahead hello uh, and Saba Rafi we're over here, as you can see, in the Brihata Meshushim pool. Uh, Brihata Meshushim means the hexagonal pool. It comes from the name of the hexagonal stones that are formed here, as you can see, by volcano, because Golan was formed by volcano. And this is like the natural formation. Go ahead. If you look at it, you may think that we're lying, that someone must have carved this, but it's true, nobody carved this. It just was formed like this, and it's a beautiful place to swim. It's just so nice. Yeah. And it's like we're about to swim. It looks like a statue. Yeah, they they all look like they all look the same. It's symmetrical. You're right, like handmade, like man-made, but they aren't. Yeah. Libole, what do you think about this? Uh, it's really nice. We're getting lovely, ready isn't to it? Swim. Are you excited about swimming? Really nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So tune in next time for the next great episode. All right. Hey, Daddy, do you want to add a few words here? Sure. We, this is awesome. We're at Mr. Sheen Pool. They call it the Hexacon Pool. I already explained, and, yeah. Uh, okay, so we just had an amazing hike. I'm trying to keep up with my girls. Not an easy thing to do. No. But Baruch Hashem, we made it down here. We're going to do a little bit of swimming. and We'll have lots of fun. All right. So here we are, about to dip into all this natural beauty. Hello, Safta Tova and Saba Rafi. We're over here in the Golan Heights, as you can see. The Golan. We just were at Meshushim. And over here, I want to show you what bark is. This. Uh, bark. Oh, they know what bark is. It's just that for whatever reason, this tree is completely almost barkless. Yeah, I know. It's losing its because bark. Because all the bark is down here. 
Yeah, I guess and it's shedding. When the tree gets older, it sheds bark, and underneath there's a nice new soft, one. A uh, new bark. I mean, a look how new beautiful tree. it has a few shades and, and so it's natural. Soft. Later on, it gets yeah. harder and browner, and then it peels. And then it, it does this. Yeah, then it peels <laughs> off. And that's bark. And over here, basically, there's a lot of rocks. There's also a dolmen, as you will see in the pictures of me and dad in the dolmen. It's, they call it a dolmen because... Uh, well, I th oh. Honestly, I, I forgot the origin of the word, but basically they're ancient structures. They are all over the Golan. And uh, they, they actually believe to have been put together by giants. Yeah, because, because according to Torah, giants used to live here. There's these gigantic rocks, it's hard to explain how they were moved yeah. before modern machinery. And if you can see here, this is a rock and this is basalt. Basalt yeah. is dry... Basalt, yes. Basalt yes. is dry basalt lava is a Hebrew. that turns into rock. Yeah, it's lava. And it forms a beautiful shade of blue and black. And it's just so nice here. Golan was made out of volcano. Yeah. So uh, you here, see these basalt rocks everywhere. And over here, it looks like a doorway. If you look up to trees, it looks like a doorway. So we're basically over here enjoying. So tune in next time for the next great episode. Bye. Oh, bye. I just want to. Oh, Golan is really here. something. Hello. Uh, Seth, Seth, and Saba Rafi. I'm over here in the dolmen. Mom, you can zoom in. There, can I? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm here, I'm here, yeah. We're zooming can in. I have this for a yeah. Here. Look, I'll show you the dolmen of how it's like kind of, you know, made completely out of rocks. It comes from the word doll for, for table and, and man, man for stone. So, yeah. stone table. Yeah, dog. stable like structure. Yeah. And I'll come out and show you how it does look kinda like a table. Uh unfortunately we could only find one, but you know, uh we kinda also found the reason maybe why they built this because inside surprisingly over here it doesn't matter how hot it gets, whether it's forty or maybe even thirty degrees, inside of that dolmen, it's so cool. It feels like the a stone gives the coolness. So maybe they built it as like kind of for saving, as a refrigerator or as a home. That's a good, actually, that's a good theory. Yeah, maybe that's where they refrigerated things. Over here, it explains uh, the story. Over here, dolmen, a table-shaped tome used for burial. For burial. Oh, burial. for burial! Wow, that's actually interesting. Ah. A dolmen is a mega, mega megalith, like a, a structure built of large stones. Made uh -oh. made of flat stones that were usually not worked. Like the, natural. The upright stone slab slabs serve as walls and the horizontal slabs created the roof. So that's really what you have, a structure. Yeah, so every, basically these are nation mausoleums. Every dolmen <laughs> was surrounded by a circle of small unworked stones. And that's that. Yeah. Signing off. Bye. So now we know it's a burial. Luckily, there were no bodies in here. <laughs> Bye. Hello, Samarafi and Sakatoba. Oh, I just want to show the beautiful Kinneret. This is called uh, Amnon Beach. Amnon is named after uh, fish that is local fish, tilapia fish. So in the English, it's tilapia. Here, it's called Amnon. Yeah. Current over here, but the good thing about this beach is that it's clean. not it's not salty. There's no medusa, and it's clean and it's cool. One thing, medusa is jellyfish, mommy. Yeah, no One jellyfish. Thing that I learned is that basically in any type of beach, there's always uh, like kind of water, of course, and then. The water at first gets cold at night because there's no sun. Yeah. And then later on in the day, it starts to get more warmer and warmer. And the top over here is warm. It's very warm. Inside, 
very warm. But when you jump inside, uh, under the surface, over there it's cold. And the deeper you go, the more... Yeah, the undercurrent is cold, but yeah. the top is warm. Yeah. So you had a good time today? Yep, we're over here. We're going to return back home. And well... Back to Afula. Yep. You know we only live a 30 minute drive from here? This is amazing. Yeah, but actually, this we are home because... We are yeah, home. Israel is our home. It this is home. Eretz Israel, Sheli Yafa, Vegam Porachat. So, Beautiful tune in Israel. next time for next great episode. Yay! Bye, Signing off from Kineret, the beautiful Sea of Galilee. Thank you.